What is good, everybody? We are in game number three of this exciting matchup. It's currently tied one to one, and it's 3D Anatan versus 3DB in the CIS League Finals. Anatan playing as the Holy Roman Empire in the blue, and 3DB on the opposite side in the orange playing as the mongols and let's see what the game plan is for him gets a nice forward uvu positioning so if he is going with an outpost rush if he is going to be dropping this early production building it's going to be getting over to anatan's side quite quickly while also having a nice lovely wood line gold next to his town center and even berries really if needed but wouldn't expect to see him on the berries that early especially with a map such as marshlands with these shoreline fish we even see a villager hit a deer and there it is he was just gathering some food for the time being waiting for this barracks to drop and as i mentioned this thing's going to be coming across the other map fast fortunately for anathan he does have a back gold so will be hard for this spearman and villager to get around to this gold easily gonna have to walk around this western side of the wood line but 3db spots this out he's gonna know exactly this And there's that villager already moving across. Anatan spots the Uvu out, spots out the villager, I'm pretty sure as well. I hope at least. I mean, he, oh, and there he definitely spots out the second villager. Um, not sure if he knew the, about the first one coming across. And the greedy, is it greedy? It's not that greedy. I like the chapel positioning. The problem with the chapel positioning, though, is just how easily deniable it could be, especially with this villager that Anatan might not know about. The spearman sneaking right on by as well. Just no vision of Anatan. And he doesn't have anything to deny this either. And it's going to be two villagers that are going to be able to build these uh, this outpost early. So it's going to come down, obviously, you know, essentially twice as fast. I say essentially for a reason. And it's oh, it's in the stealth forest too. Right out of the vision of Anatan. Just such perfect knowledge. Such perfect overall just, just gameplay from 3DB. Knowing what he needs to do here. If this outpost goes up, Anatan not going to be in a great situation. He's trying to fast build it, but but B, he's got that second villager here. It doesn't matter. That outpost is going up. Gold will be denied. Woodline going to have to be gathered here from the opposite side where the chapel is very close and secured. But once the outpost gets upgraded, not so much, not so sure if this woodline can even be touched anymore. Anatan does have his scout back home. And as we mentioned, there we is. Woodline. Right here next to that chapel. Starting to be gathered on up. Spears, I don't think, can get into range of... Oh, there we go. That's what I was scared of. And yes, once this gets upgraded it will just barely deny out the edge of this wood line so gonna be very very hard for anatan he's got his first archery range being dropped he's gonna be able to get a couple archers out and there are only two spears on this side i say this side to protect up this outpost from being built so the question is is will anatan be able to react to this i don't think so i think the outpost goes up unless he pulls vills it's gonna be too late Oh, Spears closing in on the scout too. Spears on to the wood line on the side of the chapel as well. Anatan realizes it's going to go up. And he's just got to protect up his wood line vills instead. I, I think if I'm him, I, I just A-move this. Yeah. Doesn't even bother A-moving it. Nice old vision. Um... We saw the Scouting Falcon get thrown there by 3DB. So, seeing his vision, he's going to be able to see everything on Anatan's side for quite some time. And there's the... 
Oh, outpost almost just crushing some of Anatan's vills, and it's not even upgraded yet. Remember, all this time, 3DB has just been investing heavier and heavier into this, and he is going with the deer stones as well. Those two vills able to still stay alive, able to circle all the way back around to the protection of this other outpost. Anten really needs to be able to do something about this outpost before the deer stones finish, before the upgrades come through, or else his whole entire wood lines are denied. He's going to have to go for front wood, and that is going to be so easily raided, so easily pressured. Villager, watch out. Oh, bad pathing. And he's trying to... Oh, 3DB, I think he's just trying to chop through here. Oh. Oh. Not quite able to do so. And again, Scouting Falcon goes on out, wants to get vision of this whole location. The new age begins for 3DB. Immediately, Arrow Slits upgrade comes in. Anatan needs to know, has to know that the Arrow Slits upgrade is about to come on through and finish as well. A couple archers, though. They're in front of the Uvu. They were ready for 3DB to move out onto that food location. Two horsemen come out at the perfect time. We'll be able to deny out those couple archers. But now the men-at-arms are starting to mass. <gasps> Aerosol's upgrade finishes. One vill goes down. Archers go down on the other side. And the next outpost is going to go up. He's just going to try to crawl through this and fully deny the chapel. Anatan, you can see how much he wants the chapel wood. He didn't redirect to the other wood line. He redirected to the same one that he knows once he chops through will start getting denied. But he needs this wood now. Archer immediately taken down. Archers move on up. I don't know what Anatan's doing. Oh. He's just throwing away like five archers for this. I don't know if it's worth. He's starting to get the burn, but there's still a villager in there. It will be able to jump out and will be able to start healing this up unless Anatan continually streams units into this. And there it is. He's starting to heal it up already. Anatan gets the kill though. That was the huge, huge necessary pickup. Oh, the villager, it's got some wolves on it and it gets taken down. Wildman stalks the land. And 3DB going to be able to secure the Wildman with his 300% gather rate now. The outpost has been cleared though. Anatan has resecured his gold and is still in a somewhat fine position if you really think about the grander scheme of things. There is one more outpost up. It's on his other wood line, but he's resecured his chapel. He's resecured all of that. He took down two vills, uh, three vills technically, if you think about the, the one that was moving out for food. But now the key is he needs to move out on the map, which is odd saying for HRE, but deny some of these resources that 3DB is starting to secure for himself. Spears, archers starting to move forward. Met with that next outpost like we were mentioning. 3DB able to keep his con alive. And let's see if the next outpost gets focused down. There's a bunch of spears here, and there's archers on the side of 3DB. As we were talking about earlier, as we see in the chat, Mongol Clinic over here, and just showing you how well even pulls the spears out of the upgraded outpost when Anatan isn't paying attention, gets a nice raid on the gold, and now able to pick up the rest of these spears on the front side, it looks like, too. 
just what a good pickup by 3db just showing you how strong this micro can be he only has five archers compared to anatan has nine archers five spears but still just continuing to win trades Anatan though, he's up in eco, he's up in military, and 3db, he doesn't have any trade boon going on behind this, he's just mongols. The first farm being dropped for Anatan under that chapel. It was all archers uh, in the focus ahead of time, and now the next outpost starting to get burnt. And this one, it's only going to get like one or two infantry units, if even that. I did see one archer go down, but much better trade here for this outpost compared to the one beforehand. A few mo more of those archers step on up, able to get another vill kill. So overall, villager eco numbers, dead even. And Anatan, he moves to stone. Is he going for second TC now? This is such a delayed second TC. It does look like Anatan's moving heavy, heavy onto the stone, heavy onto the wood line. So he is going to be planning on a second TC for himself pretty quick in this transition in the meantime 3db investing heavier into this feudal age military which he still has some time to catch up to what anatan has so i feel like this is actually a pretty solid play from anatan and there is a keshik out from 3db the newer scene unit not a knight but close to it it heals up a little bit not quite as tanky but uh just as useful Archer's moving forward for the wood line again. This time, though, Anatan, he has his military there ready and waiting. So able to force 3db's military back immediately. And, oh, he's moves back with his military, but forward with his villagers. Three db has no vision of this. He sees some of the deer moving, but he has no earthly idea and this is just again stealth forest does wonders these are these maps where you don't always realize what's going on and then the tc is going to finish and boom now he sees it and uh oh he still actually doesn't even see it yet he just sees some of these deer going down and uh then might realize that now there's a second tc for anatan now he will for sure as it uh, gets some of that TC fire down on some units and 3db just now starting to equalize the military count because he is dropping a second TC for himself but this one's protected by triple outpost upgrades and it's on all of the shoreline fish. So the big key here is Anatan. He didn't want to have to do this farm transition. He secured food on the map for himself, but not as good of food as 3db did. Archer mass circling around yet again. Anatan, just the one on the back foot though. More villagers moving out for the boar on the east for 3db and now might be the time where both these players start to make this slow transition to castle with their military masses just play a little bit defensive get that extra food income you got from your secondary tcs because you secured food and now use that to get castle And that's exactly the plan it looks like, at least by Anatan, as he is uh, more than halfway up to those Castle Age resources. B, securing up that board. Great job, Micro and the two lower health vills back as they get uh, chomped on down from the piggy. A few more archers attempted a little raid on the wood line, cleared up nice and easily, and I'm surprised Anatan hadn't dropped a little wall around, either around the gold or in between the house and the gold just to prevent more from this western side Shh. 
Archers look like they're moving forward again onto the berries, but there's no berries to uh to be denied. Men at arms slowly just denying up the archers that were attempting the raid, and Regnant's Cathedral is being dropped. But the gold. Anatan's able to see these archers circling back around. He pulls right on back. And actually, he sends his army to go deal with the Keshek, go secure up the first relic, and just move his whole his whole entire eco forward under his other TC. I kind of like this play. He's just one relic at a time. Don't be too greedy. And don't allow this mass to really do damage other than your idle time walking and relocating. I will say now he does lose the chapel inspiration of that wood line, but made up for if he gets relics secured in the long in the long run, which exactly what he's planning to do. Anatan, he's just got so many spears and not enough archers compared to the archer mass of 3DB, who's continuing to press forward. Jumps inside the TC. And now's where the spears, now's where the men at arms and uh, the archers on the other side, they just press forward and I mean, Anatan might not be happy with this fight, but the fight's better than anything else he can take. He's got the town center help. He has the archer help and the spears to just be an annoying front line. Even had a couple extra men at arms pop out here. And it does look like he's planning to drop a keep maybe with that many vills on stone or maybe just didn't have a place to send them. Keshiks though, they're starting to push forward and where's the spear mass now? There were 17 spears for Anatan, now there's two. They all got sniped out and that's the micro from 3DB. Villagers all on that stone, they dropped 400 stone. That's half enough for a keep, that's not enough for a keep. Men at arms trying to fall back, spears trying to fall back, the mass, it's just not healthy enough. Villagers on that wood line now running back to the other where the chapel is. Villager count still dead even. B's military numbers a little bit healthier and Anatan, he actually throws in the towel even though the numbers looked all even. The question is, was he about to just lose this whole fight and just have to give that up? Probably, but you don't know it isn't over till it's over.